box office smash for you. Titanic, the story of a couple doomed like this marriage <laughs> on a sinking ship. Exactly. In honor of this film, we will be preparing Titanic trout on iceberg lettuce. This movie was a waste of money. I knew when Leonardo DiCaprio met the fat girl, <laughs> something bad was gonna happen to him. I know. It's so sad to see that one of the most handsome, decent men left in America dies when that ship sinks. What are you talking about? That's the best part. <laughs> he dies and is sick of her nagging mouth. Maybe if you weren't such a lazy munchkin, I wouldn't nag you all the time. <laughs> Let's cook. First, you take your trout and you baste it. Here. You are the master baster. That's because you never let me go fishing. That's because your pole is too small. Maybe the ocean is too deep and wide. Don't forget to marinate the fish before you begin frying. And most importantly, don't forget to marinate yourself. How about we see a scene from the overrated chick flick, Titanic? I would do it. I would jump. Go ahead. Who's stopping you? No, really. I will jump. Go. <laughs> but the water's frigid, like you. Idiot! This is the scene where Jack saves Rose, paints naked pictures of her, and makes love to her all before they hit the iceberg. Only in Hollywood, my dear. In real life, you hit the iceberg when you say, I do. It's time to gut the trout. Make sure and slice all the way across so you can pull his guts out. Speaking of guts, I hate yours. Now that we've started the comida, let's get back to the movie. I don't want to marry him. I love you, Jack. Oh. you're fat. I'll let you on if you apologize. I'd rather die. Join us next week for the children's show. 
we'll be reviewing Snow White. And cooking seven dwarf stew. Your family's gonna be here? Good morning, thumbsuckers. I am your instructor, Sergeant T. Noble. It is my duty to show you brain dead, over glorified meter maids how not to get D E T dead. <laughs> Hold. Where's my donut? <laughs> Chavez, stand for inspection. <laughs> Where the hell is your LAPD standard issue bulletproof vest? Did you leave it on the short bus, rookie? <laughs> It shrank in the wash, sir. It didn't shrink in the wash. It shrank in the mess hall. Cause you can't stop double fisting food into that garbage disposal. You call a stomach. Isn't that right, Orca? <laughs> yes, Sergeant Noble, sir. I have not taken off my vest in the last 12 years. <laughs> in our profession, your vest is your life. Right. Right. Aren't you supposed to be on a diet anyway, rookie roly poly? Yes, sir, no, sir. That means no donuts, you jelly filled fathead. <laughs> there are no medals for cardiac arrests, Chavez. <laughs> Remind me to beat you senseless later with my nightstick. Yes, Sergeant Noble. If this were a giant <laughs> toilet bowl, I'd flush all of you. <laughs> I have invited a guest speaker here today. This instructor is the foremost authority on hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> self-defense combat. <laughs> It's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. Oh! This is Deborah McCarthy. Although she is contracted by the LAPD, you do not salute her. She is a civilian. Miss McCarthy. Deborah, please. Sergeant Noble, I read your thesis on blunt force apprehension. It's brutal. It's violent. In fact, I've seen all your briefs. Did they have his initials sewn on them? <laughs> you must be the comedian in the bunch. No, not really. I'm just, I'm just gonna... So you like jokes, huh? Tell me, have you heard this one? No. Who's there? That's my favorite joke, Deborah. All right, Rooks, can we get another volunteer? James! Stop sweating like Hitler at a bar mitzvah front and center! Yes, Sergeant Noble, sir! Sergeant Noble? Would you assist me by setting the scenario? Certainly. James, you look like a scumbag, so you're my perp. 
You approach Deborah from the rear. You observe her soft, pretty hair. How well she fills out her civvies. And how she makes your groin region feel alive for the first time since that tramp of a wife left you for that greaser flamenco dancer. <laughs> so you grab her right shoulder. No! Oh! 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 The first role in self-defense is a good offense. Oh! Hey, James, James, that's called resisting. That's the appetizer for the flashlight dinner. Was it good for you too, Deborah? I haven't had it so good since the riots. <laughs> the good, good old days. days. <laughs> have you had chow, Deborah? No. Would you like to have chow tonight? That would be an affirmative. Then I suggest we rendezvous at your domicile in approximately 2,200 hours. Then we will proceed to the clamshell All-American Grill. Do they serve beer there? I would take off my vest for you. <laughs> Please allow me. Chinese restaurant is that the customer is always wrong. I thought the customer was always right. That's everywhere else, not at a Chinese restaurant. What if they are right? If they're right, you just pretend you don't understand or speak English. Watch. Hi, excuse me. It says you serve Sichuan food, but I detect Cantonese flavor in your recipes. You go? No. No, I was... You I was, pay? No. No, I was you saying... You pay that now? No. I, is your food Cantonese or Sichuan? Oh, you stay, stay, okay. You stay. You don't understand, do you, huh? I like Chinese food. I just want to know if your food is Cantonese or Sichuan. You, oh, you want it? You want a ching chow or no. tang tao? No. Ching chow or tang tao? You I'm... want a ching chow or no. tang bao? You no, want okay, a ching chow okay, or tang okay, bao? Okay, number 17, beef and broccoli. Uh, 
They always want beef and broccoli. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See? Simple. Right on, Miss Fong. But what if they never come back? They always come back. Hi, Miss Fong. How may I help you? Chinese restaurant. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now remember, if you say Miss Fong's without yelling, they'll think they got the wrong number. Do we always put them on hold? Of course! So that they think we're very busy. <laughs> think the holding. Okay, what you want to order? Okay, we got that. Uh-huh. Okay, what's your address? What's your address? because I can't <laughs> read Chinese. It doesn't matter! All you gotta do is write down some scribbles so that people think we're authentic. <laughs> what if the customers ask what the specials are? Well, it just depends on who they are. Okay, write this down. If they're African American, you say shrimp fried rice. Okay? Or as we say, shrimp fried rice! <laughs> and if they're Caucasian, you just say sweet and sour or anything. And if they're Asian, well, you ask them what they like and you tell them that's the special of the day. And if they're a Latino. Orange chicken? That's right. <laughs> an African-American customer, okay? And I just sat down, so hurry up. Come on, come serve me. Hi, how are you today? What would you like to eat? No! <laughs> I said I'm an African-American customer, okay? You just come over and say, how many shrimps do you want in your shrimp fried rice? <laughs> that way you beat them to the punch. Miss Fong, you're a genius. Yeah, yeah, I know. checked under the bed. Yeah. I've checked all around the room. Mm -hmm. And now, you're gonna go to bed, son. Okay? Okay, Dad. Good night, son. Good night. All right. Uh, Dad? Yeah? You think we can leave the door open tonight? Oh, come on, son. You're 10. You don't need that anymore. Okay. Go to bed. Okay. Good night, Dad. Good night, son.
And you're like, mmm, it does. <laughs> don't be mean. Jimmy. No, I don't like grown men. Timmy. He was moonwalking. Timmy. How many times do I have to show you? <laughs> One more time. You see anybody in that closet, son? No. <laughs> but, but, but. Enough of the nonsense. Okay, Dad. Go to bed. Good night. Okay, good night, Dad. All right. Okay. <laughs> Michael Jackson is not in my closet. Michael Jackson is not in my closet. Michael Jackson is not in my. <laughs> Let's get it right. You're not a man. Come back tonight. I'm telling you what you want to hear. Just take some wine and then come here. Come on. Michael Jackson again. He was he wants me to drink some wine. He's like, you're bad and burn. That's it. How many times do I have to tell you? That is not Michael Jackson. That is Prince. Oh, no. Dad will now pay his child support. Whoa. Did you call the court? Because he don't return my calls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he wants. It's probably not on the counter. We'll put it where he wants it. The actual okay. Michael Jackson. Yes, I, I'm here. That's it. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.